Ladies, let's talk about this. This is an honest opinion from me to you. Not just as a woman, but as a relationship counselor who have done this for eight years. I've seen different kind of people. I've heard different kind of stories. I've gone through different type of stuff. I even have my own personal experiences, which I share with you. I want you to pay attention because the constant complaint that women always get each time they don't get their expectation from a man is always, he used me, he used me, he used me. I decided to go on a research and find out how these men always use these women. And I got to find out that these men do not use you. You use yourself. Because society have given you a wrong narrative about men. Those things that your mother told you is what worked during the 90s. So it's like you are using analog when we are using digital. So it cannot work. You know, there was a time you can keep a man with food in the 90s. There was a time you could keep a man with sex in the 90s. There was a time you could do some certain things that makes a man want to love you and kill himself from you in the 90s. But we have a new generation kind of man. And that is where the problem is. You are still using the old antique that your parents taught you on this kind of man. That's why you are not getting the results your mother told you you are going to get. No, there is what is called unlearning and relearning. Cooking for a man will not keep him. Going to live with him will not keep him. Being nice to him will not keep him. Servicing his bed 24 hours will not keep him. Going through his phone will not keep him. Being a good woman will not keep him. Caring for him, washing his boxers, loving him so much will not keep him. How you feel about him will not keep him. A man that does not want to stay will not stay. The kind of men we have in this generation, this generation, are the kind of men that want freedom. In those days during our mother's time, and all those advice that they were giving us, there was what was called culture, custom, and religion. People feared custom. People feared religion. People feared culture. When we still had the Amadioas and the Oguns that can strike you dead, that can kill you when you cheat. When there was penalty, when Christianity has not come and people understand that God can always forgive you. That was when all those advices your parents gave you worked. But for now, we have become so exposed and so civilized to understand that all those things don't work. All those hellfire, you will do this one, we'll go. we now know that it doesn't work. A lot of us now even understand that there is nothing like heaven or whatever they call it. People just want to enjoy this life that they are in right now before they die. So, that thing you are doing will not stop him from cheating. Now, let me tell you something. A lot of these young men of our generation, they have the mindset that sleeping with different women is enjoyment. A lot of men will tell you that if I sleep with only one woman, it's as if I'm not in control. If they are with only one woman, it's as if the woman is controlling them. That's how a lot of men feel. It's not because you're not beautiful. It's not because your bum bum is not big or your boobs is not big. It's just a choice. A lot of these men of this generation, they have a wrong mindset. And you are not the one that is going to correct it. Do your best and leave the rest. And that's why I used to tell a lot of women. And there was one of my videos that went viral. That a lot of men were grumbling when I said, stop cooking for a man that is not your husband. Stop cleaning. Stop doing all those things that makes you feel like ah, after everything I did for him. Because at the end of the day, the only thing you did for these men is to go and clean their house, cook for them, sleep with them. They get you pregnant, you do different abortion. That is what you did for them. Now, they did not force you to do it. You were doing those things because your mother or your auntie or society gave you a perception that when you do all these things, it will make a man to marry you. No. Our generational men, if you do all these things, they will see you as a desperate woman. They will see you as a house girl. These generational men, when you do all those things, they will use you, they will abuse you and still abandon you and go and marry that one that cannot even lift up plates. That will tell them, baby, please, we need nanny, we need 
um, cook because that is not your job i need to make a lot of women understand that these things that you are doing for this man is not your job if you're cleaning your boyfriend's house you're cleaning it because you want to stay in a clean place you are in your boyfriend's house for two days three days four days you are cleaning the house because you are not a dirty person uh -huh. don't go and be cleaning a guy's house because you want him to marry you if you are cooking cook because you enjoy cooking or there's something that is hungry in you and you want to cook it for the both of you to eat it because there are some certain things you might want to eat that is you cannot buy outside and you can make it you make it for the both of you to eat stop using all those house chores and all those cooking to think that that is what is going to keep no it doesn't keep this generational men because now there are lots of chefs in those days you don't see too many fast food around you don't see too many chefs around so our men can actually come back home because ah my my wife can cook a good meal a man can actually respect himself because he understands that ah i need to eat a good food i need to go home my wife will do pound again for me now there are a lot of fast food there are a lot of chefs your husband, your boyfriend can call any chef to cook different soup they'll put it in the freezer food is not his wahala now there are lots of sex sex is now so cheap in the days of our forefathers before you see a woman's private part you will go through hell but now Toto is everywhere. 2K, 1K, 1.5, 300 Naira, you will get Toto. So these things that you are thinking will trap this man, will not. You say you want to get belly. There are so many single mothers littered around. Ask them. Do not they use pregnancy home and again. Gone are those days when a man will get you pregnant. And the community will say you must marry her because she give him belly. Now, no more community. Everything is digital. If you carry belly and the man say you know they're ready, you are on your own. You will train that child by yourself and you will be a single mother. So I'm just reminding a lot of beautiful women out there. You see those old antiques that your mothers and your fathers told you? It doesn't work anymore. That's the reason why no matter anything you do, you fail. A man that wants to stay with you will stay with you. It's a choice that he wants to make. The day he decides to go, he will go. There is nothing wrong with you. And that's why I'm an advocate of a woman growing herself. The reason why you get so broken when these men leave you, whether relationship or marriage, is because you did not grow yourself. You did not build yourself. You are busy investing on a man. You see some women shouting, I made him after everything I did for him. Why did you not make yourself? So I'm reminding you on this video. If you're married or you are single, your life is not a man. You need to have a life outside a man. If a man comes into your life, is a plus. Don't depend your entire life on a man. That trick doesn't work anymore. These men can wake up one day and leave you. But your career cannot leave you. The things you have built for yourself cannot leave you. The brand and the name you have built for yourself cannot leave you. You can see a lot of celebrities are divorced. In as much as they are divorced, what do they do? After the divorce, they move on with their career. They move on with their life. They move on with their acting. In as much as the men or the women have left them, their careers do not leave them. The things, in fact, we still remember them for the fact that they are still acting. Not, so we don't even remember that some people are divorced. People like Uche Jumbo, there are lots of celebrities that are divorced that you don't even know. The reason why we don't even remember is because they focused on their crafts. After the divorce, they had a life outside the marriage. The reason why you are shattered, you are broken, is because you don't have a life outside this marriage. If this man leave you now, there is nothing else you can do for yourself. In fact, the man that married you or the man that you married is your work. That's not how it's supposed to be. And that's the reason why sometimes you're always frustrated when you see him with another woman. But when you're a busy woman, you have a life. You have something that if this man goes, something still keeps your life going and something still keeps your life busy. And as you are busy, as your life is going, another man will still come into your life, a better man. The reason why some of you women have not been able to get a better man than your ex is because you've not improved yourself. Improve yourself and you will see that your ex is no longer your spec. When you look back, you'll be like, did I ever date this person? The reason why it looks as if you're not growing as a woman is because you don't want to take a step ahead. You will sit down there and be allowing a man to be manipulating you. No, grow. My point is why you are in love, grow. Why you are in love, grow. Relationship does not take you to heaven. In some relationship will even take you to hell. Marriage does not take you to heaven. Some marriages might even take you to hellfire. Women, this video is for you. I need you to go back to the drawing board and tell yourself, it's time to build myself. It's time to build myself. It's time to have a life outside marriage. You need it.
yes if you don't have a life outside marriage you'll be frustrated you'll be depressed you will run mad you will go crazy because you'll be paying attention and picking on things that don't even matter things that you can overlook on a normal day because you are busy if you have something else going on for you if you have a business and you have more than 20 deliveries to do you have a you are working somewhere i know that in the bank there's no naira notes you are busy like you have other things you are attending to you will not have time to be pursuing a man and be looking for the girl that he slept with and the one that he did not sleep with the one that he did that and it's because many of you women do not have a life outside marriage if you have a life outside marriage eh, you don't go send that your husband and the reason why it's so sweet for a lot of men to cheat is because there's a woman that is pursuing them cheating is sweet when there is somebody chasing you where did you go to? Who did you do? Cheating is not sweet when nobody send you. If you want to kid out your husband that is a cheat, no answer him. Only I'm go sneak, only I'm go come back. It's because you are paying so much attention. You're giving him so much energy. Who is a woman? Eh, no. Get yourself so busy. That's the difference between our mothers and us. Society made our mothers to be stampede. Our mothers could not walk. Our mothers could not do anything. So they relied on our fathers. That was why it looks as if in those days our mothers were loyal. No, our mothers were handicapped. They did not have a choice. It is only your husband that will permit you to walk. Now, the world is civilized. A woman can do what a man can do. In fact, women even do better than men these days. So you don't allow a man to come and stampede you. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying disrespect a man. I'm saying have a life outside marriage because the thing that used to cause all this social media buhaha social media wahala is the fact that you give these men so much and you forget yourself you give these men so much and you forget your children so when these men begin to misbehave or they want to walk out of your life the bitterness is the fact that you have invested in this relationship or in this marriage so you find it hard to go you go begin find juju you go begin find where to work out you go begin find no 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 but if you're an independent woman that is busy that was also growing herself while growing the man Trust me, when a man tells you that he wants to walk away, you will not blink an eye. Because you did not lose anything. Some of you women, you have lost your identity. You have lost yourself. You cannot even look at yourself in the mirror. That's the reason why it looks as if you are still stuck in that marriage. So I'm encouraging you. It's not too late to pick up. Look for a business. Social media has helped a lot of women today. Start up something. Let the man see that you are somebody even without the marriage. That is where you are going to get your husband back. And not just getting your husband back. He will respect you because there is a life outside him. I thought I should remind you. Mm.